I will be teaching you on how to make a menu bar just like this by using the J menu. It's simple to make one of those for your program. But before we begin, make sure that you have this code all typed up. If you got everything, then let's begin. In order to use the J menu, you have to make an object which is J menu bar. Your variable equals new J menu bar. Make sure that you import the J menu bar. This object makes the bar of the menu, but it does not make any options like file, edit, etc. But we're not done with the bar yet. We have to add that onto the frame. So we have to use the JF variable from the JFrame object. So JF, and we add or we set J menu bar. Open the close parentheses and the semicolon. Inside of this parentheses, you type in the variable from here. And now we don't have any more error. If we run this right now, we don't see any menu bar because there's no options on it. So now let's make the options. So type in another object, which is J menu. And since we're making our first option file, let's name our variable file. So file equals new J menu bar, or not menu bar, but ju just J menu. Open and close parentheses in a semicolon, and we name our option, which is file. So type in file. And make sure that you import the J menu as well. And we're not done yet. We have to use the JMB, the, J the menu bar. We have to add this option onto the menu bar. So type in the variable dot add file the variable from here now let's run and see what it looks like now we have a menu bar with one option but then when I click the file it doesn't drop down any more options or sub options so in order to make the sub options underneath the file like this we have to make another object which is J menu item and let's make our first option open file but let's make our variable short and sweet so type in open equals new J menu item and you name the, um, the sub option which is open let's do open file and the ellipsis and oh yeah don't misspell this and yeah import the J menu item and yeah we have to add that onto the file so file dot add open we are using this variable and we're adding this sub option under the file option so now let's run and see what it looks like now we have a sub option 
So let, let's make more. Let's make more options or make more sub options first. So another J menu item. And let's do exit equals new J menu item. And let's name it exit or close. It doesn't really matter. So exit. And now we add that onto the file too. So file dot add exit. So now we have two sub options. So yeah, we have this and this. You can also make a separator to separate these two options. So yeah, you'll be able to see a line between those two. In order to make a separator, you use this file variable as well. And file dot add separator and now we should able yeah we should have the line between those two options or sub options or whatever you call it so yes and now let's make another option like edit or something like that so let's make J menu and let's make let's name it edit equals new j menu open and close parentheses and a semicolon and name it edit or anything that you prefer it doesn't really matter what you call this and yeah we add the new option onto the menu bar not this one add edit now let's run and see what it looks like now we have two options 